it's a heavy animal, you know, nearly 2,000 pounds. So you're dealing with a lot of heavy equipment just to, to move it around and, and get it into the right position. And as you're peeling back the layers of blubber, those themselves weigh, you know, many, many pounds that you're lifting to get out of the way. way. But once you get inside, it really is a, a delicate matter, and you need to be familiar with your anatomy. Yeah, there's quite an aroma at our warehouse because of the different activities going on. So um, a little bit of uh, rotting flesh, rancid oil. So it is a sloppy mess right now. It's been a few days after it has died, so it's decomposing at this point. We've taken all the fresh tissue samples, and, and we'll be sending those out for analysis. And at this point, we're interested in preserving the skeleton. So there's another bowhead whale skull right behind me here. And then further back, we have skulls from fin whales and California gray whales. We were first notified late Tuesday night about an animal that had stranded at Venice Beach in Los Angeles County. We do a thorough examination on the outside, taking complete measurements, and then start peeling back the layers, looking on the inside eventually getting to the organs and it's a thorough examination of each and every organ liver heart kidney spleen stomachs we learn a lot about its life history so for example looking at its stomach contents we can determine what it might have been eating looks like monofilaments maybe some kind of nylon um, rope perhaps and that's all that we found in its stomach beaked whales are probably the least known of all the marine mammals and how we learn about them is from stranded animals like this. And so that's why it's such a great opportunity to learn more about them.